I think U.S. interest rates are coming down, especially the policy rate, especially because inflation has been making very good progress on the way down. We're way past the peak now. It may take some time for the U.S. US inflation to come nearer the Fed's target. We think sometime towards the end of next year, maybe a little bit later than that by early 25. But generally, it's a trending down. Sometime in the, towards the end of the second quarter next year, we would expect the Fed to start cutting rates. I think looking back, the recovery after the lockdown when China reopened was strong, but it did not last because consumption did not sustain itself at a higher level. Now, China is essentially going through an adjustment. That adjustment is about the property sector on which China has relied quite heavily in the past for growth. Now the property sector needs to adjust down. There is a lot of debt, high leverage in the property sector. China is addressing those needs. It will take a little while. And then China will switch to other sources of growth. So I would describe that your question, I think China is just take, going through an adjustment which will take some time. India has very strong fundamentals. The underlying demographics compared to many other countries, young population, parts of it are very educated population. So India really has to use that opportunity. India is well placed to use that opportunity. So it needs the right policy in particular, it needs to improve infrastructure. It's in that process. It will take some time. And I think India also needs to address its other issue, which is very high levels of youth unemployment. Those people need to be absorbed in the labor market. So I would say posit very positive on the outlook in terms of the fundamentals, as long as policies adapt to use those opportunities, to make use of those opportunities. In terms of the election next year, I expect, based on current polls, it not to be a very big event. I expect the current administration to be back in office.